I would not say that, you know, we are a very developed state, we have everything on a platter. I wouldn't say that. You know, we are a poor state, there's no denial of that. We don't have a tier one city like Hyderabad or a Bangalore or a Chennai. I wouldn't deny that as well. But we have our inherent strengths. We have 975 kilometers of coastline. We have four, four ports, six airports. To begin with, this is our strength. And above all, adding to our strength, I'd like to say, I'd like to speak a few words about the governance. One very important thing what attracts investment is how stable the government is. And I can take pride in telling you that an overwhelming mandate was given to us. We have, out of 175 uh, MLAs, constituencies, we scored 86% of the seats, 151 plus seats. And as far as the parliamentarians are concerned, we are also proud to say that we are the fourth largest party in the country, the number of parliament seats. And we are also proud to say that we share a phenomenal good relationships with the central government and as well as the neighboring Telugu state of Telangana as well. Not to ignore Tamil Nadu, the adjoining state as well, and Karnataka as well. So the ties with the neighboring states are phenomenal. Central government support is there. There's an overwhelming mandate in our favor. This could also add to our strength when we market ourselves to the outside world. Uh, good agricultural practices, the global standards. These global standards, both in aqua as well as agriculture sector, we require your help to come forward. We would work together so that our standards improve, so that we are globally competitive as well. So that, you know, we help each other in a, in a big way, be it agriculture, be it uh, uh, the marine part of it. Uh, productivity is one other area where, you know, we have, ample, we have ample land. But I was just discussing with uh, uh, Harish the other day, and uh, these are the things what uh, needs improvement. For instance, we have coffee, where uh, per acre yield in coffee of ours is 250 cages. And uh, in Vietnam, I was told, it's seven to eight tons, 7,000 cages to 8,000 cages is what I was told. You know, these kind of innovation, innovatives, innovative practices to improve productivity and yield this would be something what we would also love to collaborate on. And then we have uh, opportunities exist in uh, seaports, investment could be sought, airports, investment could be sought, refineries, investments could, investments could be sought, steel projects, investment could be, could be sought, and uh, Water management investment could be sought. Mobilization of financial resources for the state would be one important area where we could come along in a very big way. Projects such as interlinking of, water, interlinking of rivers. We have a situation where we are the fag end state, we are the tail end state. So we have a situation where uh, interlinking of rivers are, is a very essential part to stabilize this agrarian economy. We have a situation where uh, we need your help there to interlink uh, Godavari to Krishna where to stabilize the water needs there, where both of us can come together in a very big way.